I'm going to show you how to find the tempo and the BPM of a beat or a song that you're working with. I'm going to show you how I do it in Logic, that is called the BPM counter. Sometimes the BPM counter really don't work that well, so I'm going to show you a trick how you can enhance uh, the transient just to find the BPM of the song. So okay, let's try it. So I have some examples here, so I'm going to try this first one. I know this song, this first song is in 140. I'm going to try and use a BPM counter just to find out. Okay, so here it's found 70. Uh, when you double 70, you have 140. So it's basically the same. So if I write in 70 here and try the click. So it's in half tempo. So if I double it, It's the right tempo. Let's try another song. So here it's no transient to read. So the BPM counter uh, reads transient to detect the tempo. There is no drum, no beat. So we're going to try a bit further out. There. Okay, so it says 120. So let's try it with a click. So it seems a bit off, but it feels like it's the right tempo. This looks like the start of the bar. Let's see if we can drag this over so it starts here. Let's see if that helps. Yeah. So I just had to nudge the song uh, because it didn't follow the grid. Okay, so that worked. Let's try this one. Okay. So it says 91. Let's try it. 91. Easy one. Okay, that worked. Let's see this one. Okay, so 70. Let's try it. 70. Yeah. Ten. That's right. So BPM counter actually works pretty well when it has a beat to follow. Uh, the first uh, track here uh, is a recorded band, and the other ones uh, is a, are beats following the grid. What can you do if the B is hard to detect. I have one example here. You can use a transient designer of some sort. I really like the isotope alloy one because it's pretty easy. You have a tech and you can draw down the sustain and you really get a transient out uh, of the music. If it was hard for me to find a transient here, uh, like the BPM didn't work, I will rise attack. And I will take down the sustain. And what happens, the transient pops out. Uh, it's not pleasant to listen to, but the BPM counter will have something to more to work with. So let's see. Yeah. 
So I didn't need to have the transit designer on this track, but it really can help the BPM counter to find um, some transit information to use. So it doesn't work every time you use it, but I think it pretty much puts me in the ballpark just to find the BPM or the song I'm looking for. Sometimes I have to find tweak just to find the best tempo, but I think it's doing a hell of a job. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.